All right, to solve this quadratic, there are several different things that you can do. You can use a quadratic formula, but if you know how to factor, I do recommend that. It will be faster. If you want to use a quadratic formula, I will have a video link at the end of this video. So for factoring, there are several different ways. I'm going to use the guess and check method. So we start out with our two parentheses, and then 5x and x go to the firsts. And then for our last, they multiply to a negative 12. So here's all of our options here. Negative 3, 4 are the two numbers that work. Negative 3 there uh, and a 4 there because when I multiply this back out, 5x times 4 makes 20x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Add those up and you end up with a positive 17 for the x term in the middle there. So now we can use the zero product property. We got 5x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 4 equals 0. Now for solving this one, you do got to go back to algebra 1, add 3 to both sides, and then divide by 5, and you end up with 3 fifths from this factor here, and x equals a negative 4 from this factor here. Now check out these other videos. One is on quadratic formula, and another one is on factoring this style of equation.